It is an honor to be inducted into a long line of amazing NAIA athletes. Thank you to the Hall of Fame committee for your nomination. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me the ability to play volleyball and for being my source of strength, my friend, and my savior. Someone once said, other things in life may change, but we all start and end with family. I know that I wouldn't be here without my family. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being my faithful fans and supporting me throughout all my athletic endeavors. I remember my mom taking a job while I was still in high school so that we could afford for me to play club volleyball. And then there was my dad who willingly drove all over Timbuktu getting me to practices and tournaments. They prayed for me, encouraged me, and cheered me on all through my athletic career. And they are still doing that today. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Doug, my husband and best friend, for being such a rock in my life. You know, it was me playing volleyball that first caught my husband's eye. So technically, I can credit volleyball for bringing us together. Now I'm gonna date myself a little bit here, but my freshman year in college, we had to wear bun huggers. And if any of you are familiar with those things, they were the ugliest granny looking underwear uniform you could ever wear, and I thought they would be the death of me. But despite the buns, Doug still had an eye for me. <laughs> Thank you, Doug, for your amazing love and support. Thank you, Coach McCannon, um, for being such a great coach. I love playing for you. Uh, you were not just a coach, but also someone who I knew I could talk to about life. I knew you genuinely cared for me as a person. You challenged me um, as an athlete and also to be a better individual, and you made it a whole lot of fun along the way. A big thank you uh, to my many trainers and teammates uh, who inspired me and challenged me and encouraged me. No one gets here alone and they played a pivotal role in the success I achieved. And finally, thank you to Taylor University for giving me the opportunity to play the game I love. And I have to give a shout out to Coach Smith and all the Taylor girls that are here. Way to go, ladies. For him, we play to win. Standing at this podium today and looking at all you young players, I realize that I have come a long way from my days of playing college sports. I wanna congratulate you all for making it here. I know the hard work and sacrifice that it takes to get to this place. Um, I encourage each one of you to cherish these times of playing college volleyball. Love your team, love the competition, love the challenge. When you're a competitor like me, um, volleyball after college will never be the same. Trust me. When, um, when you find yourself in the dreaded recreational leagues <laughs> and you ask your captain if they run a 5-1 or a 6-2 and she looks at you and says, I'm uh, 5-6, it's not a good thing. So then you ask if they've ever played in a competitive league before and they say, yeah, we played at our high school intramural team. Not a good thing. <laughs> After your first serve, your captain says, wow, looks like at least one of us is gonna be brave enough to serve overhand this season. <laughs> or my personal favorite, you hand dig a line shot that could have ripped off your face and everybody claps and says, nice bump. <laughs> uh, what you all have to look forward to. Cherish these times. Take in the whole experience and savor it, for this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Again, thank you so much for this honor.